Hi guys and welcome to another animation tutorial from scarmotion.com. Uh, today what I wanted to talk about was how to um, animate and uh, reposition a pivot or in this case what they call it is an origin, an object's origin. So I've just loaded up a cube and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the properties panel of this object with that object selected and here I'm just down the very bottom you'll see that there's display origin and animatable origin just go ahead and select both of those now I hit control 3 to go into wire mode there we go and you'll see that if I go back into the parameters tab of this object and if I now move the origin Y you'll see that there's this little uh, crosshair um, that's moving around the inside of this object. And now what this is, is this is the um, position from where an object will rotate from or where it will translate from. From in this case, you know, whenever you load in a square, I'll just hit control 9 to go back into shading. And if I rotate it, you'll notice that the box is rotating from the bottom of the object and that's because that's where our pivot is, it's on the floor. But let's say that we wanted the object to rotate from the center. Well if I just go ahead I'll go back into uh, wireframe and I'll just uh, control 3 and if I just reposition that into the center somewhere here and then if I start to rotate it it's going to rotate it from the center okay and if I just hit undo undo it's now rotating from the floor so that's a really handy tip to, to know is um, how you can move the pivot and now I'm going to show you how we can animate it. Now let's say that we want this box to roll um, and we want it to roll from one of these edges. Well it's going to be pretty difficult for us to um, animate it uh, with the pivot the way it is at the moment. What we need to do is we need to position the pivot just on this edge over here or on one of the edges and then we can rotate it from uh, from that edge. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'll just go into front mode and I'll hit control 3 and I'm just going to scoot this pivot over to this edge like this. Okay. So now when I rotate the box it's going to rotate from that side. Okay. So I'll just zero that out, go back into shaded mode and I'm just going to bring in my uh, dope sheet here and we're just going to animate this over time. Let's say that uh, we'll animate it on 10 frames and it's just going to rotate over onto that lip, onto that edge and now what I wanted to do is I want to rotate it towards us so that the box rotates sideways and then we'll come forwards now if I try to rotate it forwards it's going to rotate through the floor so what we now need to do is I now need to move relocate this pivot to the front edge over here so that's quite simple um, with the box selected what I need to do is I need to go into the box parameters so in the um, dope sheet here if you select the box you'll see that it's highlighted red and then expand that you'll see that we have our origins now at the moment there's no animation um, on that frame 10 so what we need to do is we need to key by selecting it in frame 10 in our dope sheet and then just hit the little plus sign here okay and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to snap it to the position of this origin that's now going to snap over one frame to the front edge so to do that we need to position the origin forward on the front edge like that now that's okay if it's in the corner there that's completely fine but what you'll notice is, is that in the animation, uh, the animation in the curve editor for that um, for the origin has this weirdness to it, and that's just because there's no tangent handles in uh, Poser. It's a very simple um, animation uh, program which doesn't have much functionality. So what that means is, I'll just um, bring this out 
is that if you watch it's going to cause some funkiness to the position of the origin um, or the pivot point. So what we could do is we could actually make that all linear. So if I select my knots in the um, or my keys in the uh, dope sheet there and then just uh, turn that to linear, what that will do is it will the um, origin won't move around like what we saw before. And now what I can do is because I've um, made it move to the front, I can now go to frame say 20 and then I can have the box rotate forward like that. Okay. Now, it's doing something very weird there, isn't it? And that's because what happened was we didn't save a key on the X rotation. So let's just um, go ahead and delete that. Let's come back to frame 10 and let's just save a key right here. So to save a key you just select the field um, in the dope sheet and then you just hit the plus and now if we go to frame 20 and rotate it forward now that should work. Okay, but once again what's happening is we've, we're getting this weirdness as it rotates and once again it's because in our I'll just see if this won't, don't want this to mount. Um, in our curve editor, we have this uh, weirdness here. So what we could do again is if we select our X key and if we just hit linear for that for the very beginning, then we won't have that weirdness. Okay, great guys. Well, I hope that helped. And if you've got any questions, please let me know. Um, also, visit our website, scarmotion.com, to check out some of our latest products, our animation products. Um, and uh, please support us on Facebook. And we'll see you next time. Thanks very much.